Okay, what I'm going to do is show you how to create a good looking functional checkbox plugin button for your ChatFuel bot. Okay, so first things first, you need to make sure that your website is whitelisted, your domain is whitelisted, if the button is going to be installed on the site. So the first thing you're going to need to do is come down to the Configure tab and then scroll all the way down to Domain Whitelisting. Now as you can see here, I've got uh, ClickFunnels added, uh, I've got my own domain added, and that will allow the button to run on those domains. Uh, if you're using ClickFunnels or lead pages, you'll need to probably add your own custom uh, domain, whatever you're using in ClickFunnels or lead pages. Okay, so now that you've got that done, your button will run on your website once we configure uh, you know, the growth tool and all that. So the next step is to go over here and to create a uh, block that the user will see or that will you know the block that will get initiated when the user subscribes to your bot as you can see I've already got a block here called checkbox test and when the user clicks the button this is what they're gonna see when they log into the bot or subscribe to the bot uh, your particular block you'll want to maybe thank them for subscribing and you know ask them if they want to get the report that you offered that sort of thing uh, and get them into your funnel so now that you've got your checkbox or your, uh, your block created, you want to come down here to the Grow tab and then just click the checkbox plugin. Now all we need to do is put in the domain where the checkbox plugin will be installed. Again, it's the, one of those whitelisted domains. So I'll put in my domain and then you come down here to the ref parameter and you select the checkbox or basically the block that you want to initiate when the user subscribes to the bot. In my case, it's my checkbox test. Now for plugin size, it doesn't really matter. I just like the large one. And then the last step here on the chat fuel interface is that you basically copy that code. That's all you got to do. All right, so the next step is to come over here and visit my chat fuel growth button generator and then all you do is that you paste the code. Boom, so there you go. Let's, uh, let's look and see what we've got here. It's a lot to process, and so I'll show you kind of what all these settings are. So on the right here, it shows you before opt-in and after opt-in. This is what the button will look like on your website. So you can edit the message, um, and here I'll say, uh, uh, you know, claim my free report now. And then on the uh, opt-in message, the after opt-in message, I think I'll just leave it like that. So the options that you have available are editing the button background, the button text, uh, the hover colors uh, for both uh, before and post opt-in. So all this here, you can, you can manually enter a color or you can select from a palette or web colors and just edit to your heart's content to make it match your website. Now what's uh, really cool here is that we also have an option that will let you redirect after your button click. And so once the user subscribes to your bot, you can actually initiate a redirect to a thank you page or anything else. So that's really cool. So I'm just gonna put in a link to uh, a, a page I've already got built that thanks the user for submitting for a social media audit. Now another option that we have here is to trigger an opt-in uh, modal window so that you could actually collect the user's name and their phone number and their email if you wanted to get them into more of a classic uh, email autoresponder or SMS type marketing system. So uh, systems like Optimize Press with Overlay Optimizer or Thrive uh, Leads or the Bloom plugin uh, built by Elegant Themes or ClickFunnels and Lead Pages, they all have um, what they call CSS classes or, or uh, IDs that can be clicked on that will trigger a modal to pop in the window. Let me show you what that actually looks like. I've got a, a, a page here to pull uh, seller leads for realtors. And so if I click this button, see how that pops up like that? That's what that little option is for the uh, you know for the builder so if I were to use this you would basically you know you need a little bit of knowledge on how to trigger uh, the modal opt-in windows uh, and you know that's beyond the scope of this tutorial you need to know your documentation for whatever system that you're using um, I would use this 
or the redirect, you can't use both because if you redirect, it's going to immediately redirect and you won't be able to have an opt-in window pop open. So um, you either use redirect or you use an opt-in trigger. Okay, so um, now we also have an option to actually fire the Facebook pixel after the user clicks the button. So this way you can actually uh, track it as a lead, you could track it as a custom event, and then you could use it, uh, use that data for building a custom audience for retargeting. So it's very, very powerful stuff. In this case, if you were to track it, you would uh, go ahead and click yes, and then you have an option to track it as a lead or as a custom event. So if we track it as a lead, it just fires off the standard Facebook lead event that will show up in your audience. If you want to track it as a custom event, here is where you would add the uh, the custom event name and then you could add the parameters uh, like you know your your uh, whatever the cost of the lead is, other information, referring pages, that sort of thing. Um, again, you'll need to refer to all the documentation for Facebook pixels and we have links to all that information here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to turn off the Facebook pixel firing. So that gets us all the way down to the generate the chat fuel code button. So once we've just basically pasted this information in, I could just use the settings as is. I generate the Facebook code here, or sorry, the, uh, the chat fuel button code, and then all I need to do is copy. Now that I've copied it to my uh, clipboard, all I need to do is go and put it into a page. Now I've I'm putting this into a WordPress page and I'm using the Divi uh, theme for this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna paste the code in there like that. I'm gonna save it. And then I'm going to actually save my page. Okay, so the page is saved. So let's go look and see what that looks like now. So let's open this up. And there is our brand new shiny chat fuel uh, opt-in button. So let's click it and see what happens. You can click it and you can see that it's actually going to redirect. There we go. So it redirects and you can probably hear all those messages coming in. And here we go. Look at that. I have actually fired off the uh, initial checkbox plugin test block that we set up inside that button. So that's basically how you do it, guys. Um, that is how you create your beautiful little chat button uh, test. So our chat button for, uh, or I'm sorry, <laughs> a, uh, a chat fuel button for uh, opting in and getting subscribers off your website. So if you have any questions, let us know. Um, we build bots, obviously. So uh, if you need help with a bot or you just need help with this tool, let us know and uh, you know either uh, hit the contact link button on our website or just message us uh, through any one of the chat bot groups on Facebook that we're in. All right, so have a good one. Enjoy the buttons.